Since colonization began in 1827, the Fraser River estuary has been extensively modified by human interventions. We've constructed dikes along the banks of the Fraser River, which disconnect the river from its floodplain. We also construct various river training structures, jetties that divert the course of water and sediment. So throughout all of these extensive changes, the amount of wetland habitat has dramatically decreased. So there's estimates that we've lost anywhere from about 70 to 90% of wetlands throughout the lower mainland. At Sturgeon Bank alone, since the 1980s, we've lost at least 160 hectares of tidal marsh habitat. With the Sturgeon Bank Sediment Enhancement Pilot Project, we're trying an innovative method to add new sediment to the Sturgeon Bank foreshore to try to restore tidal marsh, to restore fish habitat, and support coastal flood protection for the city of Richmond. Because we've extensively modified the Fraser River estuary, sediment that would normally reach the tidal marshes, the tidal ecosystems, this sediment can't make it there anymore. So what we're trying to do is to add sediment that has been unable to be supplied to these ecosystems. We are trying to raise the elevation of the marsh to provide relief to the tidal marsh vegetation from inundation from water. But more than that, if you add sediment, when sediment has been disrupted by these jetties and all these other activities, you are actually helping to provide those, those critical ingredients that tidal marshes require in order to remain resilient with sea level rise. It's summertime now, and here we are at the Sturgeon Bank Marsh to sample salmon and try to better understand how they are using the pilot project area. The marsh is creates this great habitat for salmon to be able to utilize. So these juvenile salmon, they come from the river and they're really small and they need to um, grow quickly. So the estuary is a really important stopover area for them to grow and acclimate to the more ocean conditions. We kind of understand um, from previous research done in this area that marsh habitat is really important for certain salmon species such as Chinook salmon. Sturgeon Bank is a really important area for these fish to rear and it's been kind of blocked by these big barriers in the past. In order to add sediment at Sturgeon Bank, it is a very logistically complicated project. A big challenge with the Sturgeon Bank pilot project has been sourcing the appropriate type of sediment. This year, we want to focus on the finer sediments, your silt and your clay. And these sediments tend to accumulate in the secondary channels and in harbors and marinas. Fortunately, we've been able to piggyback off of an existing dredging project at Captain's Cove Marina in Ladner, where a sediment uh, dredging contractor is removing the sediments from the marina, loading them onto a barge, we're then transporting that barge to the Steveson North Jetty, and then we have a special pump that is resuspending the sediment with water in that barge and then pumping it through our temporary sediment delivery pipeline onto Sturgeon Bank. Today we are at Sturgeon Bank and we are beginning to mobilize the temporary sediment delivery pipeline. Total pipeline length will be about 1.3 kilometers and we are threading the, the needle, threading the, the pipeline through a breach in the Steveson North Jetty. The actual mobilization of the pipeline onto Surgeon Bank, we anticipate to only take about two days. And after that, we should be able to begin sediment addition. The hope is that if this is successful at starting to initiate the restoration of tidal marsh, we can potentially scale this up not only to the entire west coast of Richmond, but other areas of the Fraser Delta Front. With this pilot project, we're trying a precautionary approach, and we continue a annual monitoring program that involves not only on the ground measurements, but also remote sensing using drones to detect changes in elevation and changes in, in vegetation, so we can really understand what is the biological and physical response of the Surgeon Bank foreshore to sediment addition. Based on conversations with various rights holders and subject matter experts prior to beginning the project, we received input that we should probably target maybe five to 10 years of annual incremental sediment addition for this pilot project to be working. 
So we hope to be able to secure additional years of funding to continue it for that full duration of the pilot project. 